I don't want to put lipstick on your lips. I mean, unless you want your cock fetish about putting lipstick on your lips. That's right. Okay, that's something you've got on. Reachable TV. I'm here today with Omar. Say hello, Omar. Hello, Omar. And we're going to get something started today. Hopefully, we're going to get more Omar in front of the camera. So, we are going to do some exciting things, some new things on Reachable. Also, want to thank all those new subscribers who have been subscribing to our YouTube channel. If this is your first time, welcome to Reachable. And if this is not your first time, Thank you for watching and I hope everything that we are sharing on Richable is really helping you, helping you to just live the life you've always wanted, create a business, find the path for your career and just giving you tools, articles, pod podcasts and all this wonderful stuff to help you build a business and a life that you've always wanted. So today's video we're going to talk about how to keep the fire, how to keep the flames burning when you are building a business. Well, I'm an entrepreneur, you know my journey, I'm not going to explain that. And I obviously am married to Omar. And we've been married this year 19 years. Oh my gosh, 19 years, I can't believe it. It's been a wonderful, wonderful 19 years. And I couldn't wish to do 19 years with anyone else but you, Omar. Thank you, me too. You can pay me later. <laughs> So we're going to talk about, because you know what, when you're starting out in business, mm. it's so difficult to manage your time and your business time and your family time. Mm -hmm. You know, and sometimes you can get into a place where you get stuck and get into a rock mm. and you just struggle to keep that fire burning and have time to have quality time with the ones that you love. Yeah. So we're going to talk about that today, but really share what we did and how we you know, went through the journeys of where we are today. So first of all, let's talk about, because you know, I'm not going to try and stereotype things, but you know, I'm an entrepreneur, and so you're not normally behind the scenes, supporting me in the sense of like, admin, giving me um, encouragement, advice, direction, or picking up the phone sometimes, talking to clients. And you know, I'm more of the, the front, front man, and I do most of the events, public speaking, all those different things. So what is it like having a, a wife that is an entrepreneur? You know, because some men kind of find it difficult to um, encourage their wives to go and start a business. Or they might feel afraid that they will lose their manhood if their wife becomes more successful than them. So how do you deal with it, being a man, and your wife is, you know, flying sky high and doing all the things that she wants to do. So how do you cope with it? Two words spring to mind. Okay. Um, communication uh -huh. and maturity. Okay. Um, so I think we should explore those a little. Okay. <coughs> Go for it. Um, I suppose the important thing in any relationship, okay, don't, let's, let's be really brutally honest, okay, because guys, if, if ladies, if you're a lady out there and you are going on a journey where your work life is going to affect the level of quality time mm. that, um, you, you know what, <laughs> let's, let's say it like this, you know, because I just, uh, my mind is just really picking up on something. Mm. To be honest with you, guys and gals, mm. okay, if your work life is going to majorly affect, okay, your family life and the quality time or the, um, let's say, the quantity of time mm. that you're going to be able to spend with your, your, your lover, your partner, and your children and things, mm. then you're going to need to communicate very effectively some very important things to those people that you love dearly, um, your, your children, and very importantly to your partner if you want to succeed in both the business arena and the relationship arena. Mm. Now, So how, how can you mm, do mm, that then? Yeah. So, so communication is going to be important in so much as, first of all, I think, conveying the vision. What is it that you as an individual want to achieve? Why are you spending all this time doing this particular thing? And 
is it all for you or is it also for them? So are you saying that the person that, that mm -hmm. we're talking about is an example of mm -hmm. us, mm -hmm. that I should communicate to you mm -hmm. why I want to go into business mm -hmm. and what my journey and how I see my future is all about? Absolutely. Okay. You know, but, you know, in terms of like, I mean, you, you've, you've done it very well in many, many contexts. We, we talk, we talk all the time and I think it's really key to the elements of success that we are able to enjoy in our relationship mm -hmm. and in, um, like your business, do you know what I mean? Because you, we can we communicate together about our individual goals, dreams, desires, aspirations, mm. what we're what we're individually out there to do, and it's also so important to get a real understanding of each other's individual kind of strengths, um, personalities, mm. what they're what they're wired toward, what they're geared towards. I mean, so many issues come up in in relation to this. For example, and I don't want to get too deep. I, I want you to. I, want, I don't get too deep too quickly, yeah. um, but I do want to explain these things because I think they're so important, I think it's to, important. to people. Yeah, because I meet a lot of mm. my clients and, mm. you know, a lot of, well, because I, I mean, I do work with men and women, mm. but the majority of the people that I have one-to-one -one mm. with are with, with women, especially on the mm. phone as well. And they say a lot of that their husband don't support mm. what they're doing. Right. You know, they feel kind of alone. And even their mm. family don't support them. And they find it very difficult to communicate yeah. to the to their loved ones that this is really something that I want to do, that I'm passionate about. Mm. And I try and explain to them that, you know what, there's going to be a time where you have to be on your own. Mm. You have to start that journey yeah. by yourself. Yeah. Even though sometimes we mm. want to start with our partner, not actually start with them because not doing it I mean, I mean, uh, you no, know, I've, just, I've just conveyed that we, communicate things yeah. of that nature that mm. that's helped us. Mm. But let's be brutally honest, there's been times when it has been hard actually. Yeah. There's been times when we yeah. actually have argued and fought. Yeah. And there's been times when um I think especially when you get to start things where you had to where the I suppose the and why why was, was it difficult for mm. you when I started out mm. to just let me do it? I suppose um I suppose it's really this what sort we're of talking about, mm. the fact of communication grasping what you're doing, why, you know what I mean? But don't you think that's got to do with like ego as well, that you know, okay, what are you doing, because if I communicate what I'm doing, obviously you knew what I was doing, but there was still this, this, there was still this kind of holding back and reining back, I don't want you to mm. go and do it, even though I knew this is what mm. you wanted to do at the beginning. Mm -hmm. So, okay, there's elements of all those kind of factors that kind of come into play with this realm. <laughs> there's, there's elements of um, of ego that get involved in relationships because I want to I want to I want to talk from the perspective of both the the male mm -hmm. and the female mm -hmm. um, workaholic type. Okay, okay. okay. Right, yeah. that's kind of where my mind's going at the moment. It's kind yeah. of thinking in terms of a lot of people say because it can be if, it, it happens in, if, it happens. On both sides of the coin. Yeah, you're right. If the guy is a really driven guy mm. who spends so much time at work, do you know what I mean, etc., mm. etc., et it, it affects the family. And so many times, much of the time, the, the woman may be not supportive of his vision and what he's trying to do. Mm. And sometimes, <clears throat> you know, sometimes workaholicness is driven because of emotional issues in that person, that because they're insecure, they're trying to prove something to their, their, to their mother or their father, they, you know, all those kind of factors. And if that's the case, that needs to be explored in your individual life. But also it could be because they just love working. Or it could be because they love working. It could be because that's the nature of their personality and what they're here to do on the earth. Mm -hmm. You know, this is what, what I'm saying is so important. We've got to, especially as partners of each other, mm -hmm. this is why finding out who we are as individuals mm -hmm. and who you're married to is so important. When you get married to a person, you don't own them, okay? Every single one of us are individuals, unique individuals, and we've got, we've got so much to bring to the table, we've got so much to bring to the world, and we need, as individuals, supportive people around us, yeah. okay? Mm. You can't be on this earth, you see, this is where problems come into play in relationships, because people want to control people, like, okay, ah, oh, I want you to be like this. Mm. How, what right have I got to tell my lovely lady what I want her to be like, mm -hmm. right? If, if, if I love her and have found her to be what I'm after in the first place, then now my passion, if I genuinely love her, has got to be, what do you want to be? Mm -hmm. What are you here to do? Mm 
-hmm. How can I facilitate that? So let's say the first one is communication, we definitely have to mm -hmm. communicate mm -hmm. to, so the person that's going out to start the uh, mm -hmm. um, business yeah. has to communicate to the family, to the partner, mm -hmm. that this is something that I want to do. Mm -hmm. It'd probably be good for them to kind of, I mean, not everyone's going to know the, the full scale of, you know, mm -hmm. what I'm going to do in the no. next five years, no. but, you, you know, at least try at the beginning to communicate in a loving way mm -hmm. that, you need to individuate, yes. you, know, you need to be your own person, even though you're together mm -hmm. in the relationship, you need to individuate yeah. and do, I mean for us, you know, let's talk about us, you know, mm -hmm. we, was, when we met, I was um, 16 mm -hmm. and you were turning 18, yeah, I was 17, you were yeah. 17 going 18, yeah. and you know, and we've been together for all that time, half our lives really, I'm, I'm now 36, you're coming up to 39, yeah. 39, 38 now, <laughs> but you come up to 39 now. And so we've had half our life together. So it was very difficult for, for both of us at the yeah. beginning to um, let the other one go mm. and spend time with the guys mm. and spend time with the ladies mm. because we were so together all the time. It wasn't that because we didn't want to, it just, it just felt like a part of us was kind of being ripped apart. Mm. So, I mean, now you go to the gym and you've been working out and I do my own thing, you know what I mean? And it's really, really good. I was talking the other day, I was like, I feel really great that you're getting on and doing your own thing. Yes. And I have that little space to have my own time. Not because we don't want each other <coughs> in our presence, but I think it's maturity. And sometimes getting to that place of maturity is kind of be, it can be a bit difficult, yes. you know, especially when, um, as well, if, some, if one partner's being more successful than the other, and the other partner's earning more. I mean, we know in relationships when we work with couples, when a woman earns a lot more than a man, it creates a lot of problems in the, in, in and, the and relationship. And, and I suppose that's why I'm really talking about the area of maturity. Mm. Because again, we, 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 we as people have got to deal with these, because this comes down to emotional issues. Yeah. It comes down to concepts and ideas that perhaps we've been sold, which could often be a little rubbish, like, the, the, you know, uh, as a man, you're supposed to be the provider and the, the guy and all this. As a man, there's a natural drive within you to want to look after your family and to, to provide as much comfort and everything else for them as possible and it's really important. Um, uh, you know, that, that's, that's, a, that's a good thing to have and I think that you know, we've got to take care of our responsibilities. It's really, really important and I don't want to negate on that. But the bigger picture and the ultimate goal is for you and her to fulfill your purpose. And if her purpose is to be you know, it, it, like in, in our relationship, you know, my wife is a very driven entrepreneurial type person. She's very business minded. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not so business minded. I, I think quite differently. I'm very philosophical. I'm very, I'm, I, I write, you know, um, I'm creative in that kind of context. And I have a business mind on me in, with regards to how that all should, should be worked out. But it's quite different to the way that she thinks. Now, as a result of that, we need to, to know who we I need to know who I am, she needs to know who she is, and I need to have a good grasp on who she is, and she needs to have a good grasp on who I am. Otherwise, her expectations of me could be different. She'd be like, well, you know, a woman can, can think to herself, well, you know, I'm driven as a woman, um, how come you're not driven and business minded? Why, why are you weak like that? Why, are you, why don't you, you know, be a go get her out there kind of guy, right? Um, and, that, and then that can become intimidating, and that's where the immaturity comes into play, because then you have silly arguments and conversations because she's expecting something from you that you don't have. Um, not they, because you don't mm -hmm. want to give it. It's yeah. because it's not in you. It's because it's mm -hmm. not your personality. It could be the other way around. You could be the go-getter and that yes. could be the, the other person around. So Absolutely. nobody, nobody it's, it's understanding. It's understanding. This is what communication mm -hmm. and maturity come to play. And vice versa, even as a man, it's like, oh, you know, if you're spending your time, try to be this, this, this driven guy. And in reality, you just need to release her to, to, to be driven, that, you know what I mean? Then, then that's something you're gonna have to learn how to do. On the other flip side of the coin, you might be a driven guy, and you think about business, you think about yourself all the time, but you don't communicate to her that this is important, and these are the reasons why I'm doing this. Not just, it's not just as simple as saying, you know, I'm, do, don't you see all the hard work I'm doing? Don't you see I'm doing this for, for you and for the family? You have to really communicate, convey the vision of what is, what is your picture? What do you see as the family? Because she'll have a picture. Listen, again, the other part of communication, so much of it is through the listening. It's been said so many times, one mouth, two ears. So, <laughs> you know, double the amount of communication that you do. Listen carefully, hear her vision. Because your vision might be, I'm gonna work my butt off for the next 50 years, 
right? And that way we're going to have some comfort, we're going to have to retire and do this and third thing. She is thinking, 50 years from, from now, you're not going to look as good, I'm not going to look as good, so yeah, we can go to the beach, we're going to be like, you know, fat old tourists, right? I want to be sexy and go out and have some fun now, <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? So communicate, listen, what's her vision? What does she want to do, right? That's good. And <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? These are the things you've got to communicate about, because you're going to have two different things in your mind. Mm. So, so listen, what is her vision? And then you can say, okay, well, I'm working hard, but I've got to make some time so we can go to the beach now while we're still young. And, and that's the second thing that we need to talk about. Mm. We talked about communication mm. and that also includes yeah. listening, but also time management. Because mm. time management plays an important part yes. of keeping the, the flame burning. That's right. While you're and setting aside system. time for keeping the fire burning. Yeah, and it also as well, you set, set out finances. Because mm. sometimes yes. when you're building that business, you reinvest your money mm -hmm. back into that business. Yeah. You know, you've got this one track mind of like, I'm going to build this business, mm -hmm. I'm going to build this business, and you don't take up time yeah. to take a little scrimp from that That's money right. and yeah. say, I'm going to invest in taking the children down to the beach That's and right. having an ice cream, That's or right. going Nando's or McDonald's, which yeah. we love doing all the time, or just getting in the car yeah. with the petrol, which is driving. That's right. I mean, we live in a lovely, lovely area, so we love driving all the time. So yeah. it's time management. Now, how can Let's, you know, let's get a bit deeper, can you manage your time? I mean, what's the best way for a couple mm. to get time to do the things? How can they take that time away from their busy schedule? <coughs> yeah. Part of it, you have to steal it. Mm. You know, you have to kind of, you have to skimp and scrape. It's, it, the things that you spend in life are your time and your money. And how you spend your time and money is going to affect the quality of your life and the direction you're going to go. Mm. Now, when you're in your, when you were running a business, you you steal time to make sure that your business is getting where you want mm. it to be. Mm. You steal time to make sure that you're cutting into the you know it, it, you're on the cutting edge. You do all the things you want to do, but you you have to live a life mm. because life is not just about work and business. Yeah. So it's a bit of a mixture of both. You have to steal time back as well, so you can have a quality existence. You have to steal time back so you can learn how to rest. Rest is important because those moments when you recharge your batteries, when you're able to think and mull over why you do what you're doing, are the times when you're going to get your inspiration, the times when you're going to get real understanding of, of what really matters, and, and so many quality things are going to go through your mind and your heart. And you're also recharging yourself as well mm -hmm. because you yeah. know, when you work a lot, you, you, you deplete yourself and you go empty. That's right. I'm a workaholic, and I, because I think most entrepreneurs mm -hmm. are workaholics, but also my husband will say, you know, we need to take some time out now. And mm -hmm. I've now much better than what I was before. Yeah. I mean, I could go three, four days without any sleep, mm -hmm. and I'll be fine. And, but there'll be a point when I will need to sleep. But now I don't actually do that because he loves me coming to bed <laughs> every night now. So I do that. But I, I realise well because I plan out my time, mm -hmm. I have more things to do. Yeah. You know. Which again, so I, I, I just use the word steal time. Mm -hmm. The other fact, which is so important, is you've got to learn more and more. It's not an easy thing. It, 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 it requires discipline, but it's to plan your time. Yeah. Like you said, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's it's developing strategies I mean, for organising what, what do we do? You have, we have days now, so right. tell them what we do for <coughs> our days. We have a massive area of communication for us was... We had to sit down. We had, we had to sit down, we had to communicate about this. And it, you know, it really works, and it, it works on two levels, because it gives, it gives us both the ability to do what we need to do, mm. but also not feel guilty yeah. about what we're doing. And if we don't do anything, we don't care, because you know, that's your day, that's my day. What we've done is, we've put in place where this is, this, is, this is literally our routine, I'm going to tell you exactly as it is. Yeah. So, Mondays and Wednesdays are my days, Tuesdays and Thursdays are her days. On the weekend, Saturday is her day, and Sunday is my day. What I mean by that is, she has me exclusively on a Tuesday, a Thursday, and a Saturday. Anything she needs me to do in her business, in her work, in her, you know, from that perspective, she can ask of me and I'm available and I'm going to put my energy and effort to make sure that like stuff like you know videos, videos like this podcasts, if you need to do anything articles. it's on a Tuesday, a Thursday or a Saturday. Yeah. On a Monday and a Wednesday are my days. They're exclusively in my time. <coughs> I mean, she can't ask me to do anything. <laughs> when we did start, I would try to ask because mm. it was hard to get into that routine. Yeah. But actually, I'm so glad that he suggested it because when he first suggested it, I was like, it's not going to work. Isn't it? It's not going to change anything. I still need you every yeah. day. But I tell you, our life yeah. is so much better. It's so, it makes so much more sense because yeah. then, then I, because I've got the visions and aims and dreams and things that I've got to do. That happens on a Monday and a Wednesday, and on a Sunday, predominantly, I rest. Mm. 
because I live a very, very hectic life. Mm. I have, I'm up at 4 o'clock in the morning, I'm going to bed at 12 o'clock at night, and between then and then, lots happens. Yeah. And so, Sunday, I rest, mm. you know, um, and I don't feel bad about it. And no. guys, um, read Men from Mars, Women from Venus, um, and learn about how much a guy does need at least a yeah. day where he can just rest. And women, don't <clears throat> beat up on your guys if they sleep a lot. You know, men do tend to sleep a lot because, again, their energy flows a lot different to, to women. We can have babies and back, back to work the next day. And when we first got into a relationship, it was such a big deal that he was tired all the time. And I couldn't understand, well, I'm not tired. I still have to look after the children. What the heck is going on? But then now I come to the realization and got to know more that his energy is focused. Especially when a man does, any, does anything, they put their whole heart, mind, and soul to it. When women do things, we reserve our energy. We don't put everything into it because we can do 10 things at once. A man can only do one thing. So when they do that one thing, they really, really put everything into it. So that's why when they come home, they're so tired because they've, they've done reserve, they've done everything, they've just given everything to it. And that's what I realised. But when women, we, we can reserve some and put some aside because we know the children will need that, we know you will need that, we know our colleagues will need that. So we can we can actually package our time yeah. and, our, and our energy more effectively. That's the way we've been wired, it's just yeah. the way it is. But men can't do that, so they're literally... And so women, don't beat them up if they're tired or they say, I need a bit of time when I come home before we communicate. Or, you know, again, if you, you know, create a schedule, then you can't flow out of his mm. schedule or he flows out of your schedule. Yeah. And then it's going to be the time. We, we keep it real strict. Yeah. But also then, if cause, because we've got that, what we have is a flexibility in there of life. Yeah. Life happens. So therefore, if I know that because life is happening, Tuesday I'm not going to be able to give you anything, I will happily say, you know what, Tuesday I'm not giving you anything, Monday, you can do it, we'll do, do, do your day, we'll move it. I actually love it because it's like a barter thing, you know, I, I, I feel like I get um, some good deals out of it really, like if he can't do it on my day, I'll have extra things for him to do when he comes to the time of doing it. <laughs> I'm just confessed, uh -huh. you know, and it works, it works really, really it works well. Wonderfully. It works wonderfully because also, from a man's perspective, when you get your day, I mean, Monday evenings, Wednesday evenings, I love those times because I literally do what I want. Yeah. You know, I know she's not going to ask me because we've, we've come to an agreement on it. And it, that's the, the thing about communication. You communicate about something, you've you laid it down, mm. it, you've just got that freedom. Now, I can look forward to a Monday saying, you know, I'm going to get home, I'm going to do this and that, and I'll do that. Then I'm just going to rest, or oh, I'm not going to rest on that day, I've got loads to do. Mm. Whatever the case may be, it's my time. And I, and I know it's exclusively mine, so I can accomplish what I need to accomplish on that time. Yeah. And then she knows in her heart that on Tuesday, bang, I've got so much I need to do, so much I need him to do, mm. so it's going to happen on that day. Yeah. And, and it just it works. So these kind of ways of organising yourself are really, I think, very, very helpful. Yeah. And it's about building a holistic life as well, because you know when you're building and starting out a business, You've got to think about your personal life as well. It's not just all work and no play, you know, because you need your family support. You want them to be at the end of your journey when you're successful, when you become that millionaire, that billionaire. You know, you want your family there because a lot of millionaires, a lot of people that start out, you know, some of them don't make it. Their family are gone, they're divorced, they're separated. And what I try and what Homer and I try and do in Richable is that we try and give you a holistic way to live your life, mm. to live the lifestyle you want, to have your dreams, to make the money, but also doing it in a holistic way where you bring all the loved ones and all the people that you want to bring along on that journey mm. and everyone's happy rather than you dragging them along, mm. they're all happy supporting you and loving you. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have the time, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips and advice on building your business, your brand and your career and also live the life that you've always wanted to. Have yourself a wonderful day. We'll speak to you soon. Bye.